two, one, fire. Fort Nelson is owned by Hampshire County Council, leased by Royal Armouries for the running of a museum. So we have here a museum of artillery as part of the Royal Armouries collection. Hampshire County Council fund the exterior repairs and maintenance and Royal Armouries will fund the general day-to-day -day running uh, of the museum, the internal uh, work and maintenance that's required. Fire. Fort Nelson was constructed along with four other major fortifications on Portsdown Hill overlooking Portsmouth uh, and two smaller fortifications to deny an enemy the height that Portsdown Hill offered to bombard the dockyard of Portsmouth about four miles distant. Well, the forts were uh, superficially armed, if you like, uh, when they were completed because the French had been heavily defeated in the Franco-Prussian War uh, and the French were always perceived as being the main enemy, so the threat was never the same. The forts were armed, uh, therefore, fairly lightly as well as being garrisoned lightly and then uh, declared obsolete in the early years of the 20th century. The forts then were brought to life during the First World War, particularly Fort Nelson, because it was used as a forward station for the reception of troops uh, from all over the country on their way through Portsmouth Harbour uh, to the front in France. In the interwar period it remained in military use uh, and then in 1938 uh, and 1939 anti-aircraft ammunition stores were constructed across the parade for the storage of those uh, projectiles. There is no physical link between the Portsdown Hill forts. The road that's used as the main east-west road route today was the military road uh, and the forts were built sufficiently close to each other, about 2,000 yards centre of parade, centre of pr parade, to provide a degree of covering fire. The tunnels here at Fort Nelson are three in number and were constructed solely within the confines of the fort to serve the local defence of Fort Nelson. So for example our mortar batteries and our caponias which were designed to defend the ditch. The only other fort as far as I know that had any further tunnels constructed are at Fort Southwark, that's our neighbour uh, to the east, where during the Second World War extra tunnels were constructed for storage purposes and also to act most likely as an anti-aircraft uh, shelter. If somebody wished to visit Port Nelson and the Museum of Artillery today, they have several means by which they can do it. They could consult our website, which is www.royalarmories.org.uk. They could phone our direct line, which is 01329 848501. They could alternatively scan the local newspaper for special events that we hold uh, periodically throughout the year. We are entirely free, I'm pleased to say, and our summer opening hours are 10 o'clock on usual days, except for Wednesday when we open at 11 and we run till 5 o'clock, but it's probably better if potential visitors check the local press for details.